everybody go to our breakfast. Hey, YouTube fam. It's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, we're doing my 2023 crochet hair rankings video. Now, I know last year I said I was not going to do this video anymore because I have been creating content for seven years now. And these videos can get pretty, pretty long. And I just don't want to do that to you guys out there. But I got so many comments on that video. Please, please, I'll watch your rankings video. Do not stop doing those. Those help me every single year that I just had to push everything to the side and say, look, we're going to continue on. I don't care if I've been on YouTube for 15 years. I'm still going to make a rankings video. I'm going to be talking for a long time. I'm probably going to need some water and some snacks in between. But I will continue to make these videos as long as you all appreciate me making them. Without further ado, as always, I'll get started with my disclaimers. Now, people find this video every year and they're new to my channel. Hi, welcome. My name is Lee Levon and I have been creating crochet hair content since July 24th, 2016. That's why I say it's been seven years this month that I've been creating crochet hair content. So I have a lot of content on my page. I have over 100,000 of you guys who follow me. And so these disclaimers are necessary for those who may be new here. So if you want to skip the disclaimers, I'll put a timestamp right here so you guys can forward ahead. But don't ask me no questions that were covered in this disclaimer. Don't ask me what hair I have in because you didn't watch the disclaimers. Now, my first disclaimer is that everything I say in these videos are my opinions. These are the feelings I have toward the hair I've tried. You may love a hair I hate. You may hate a hair I love. We all try hair and we feel differently about each hair that we try. And that's the beauty of having opinions. Also, keep in mind, some of the hair I've tried has been almost six, seven years ago at this point. So I might be very brief with some hair. I might talk a little bit longer with some hair. I get some complaints sometimes that these videos are long. They're going to be long when you're trying to compact 80 plus hair into a single video. I have reviews for every single hair that I'm talking about in today's video. And I link every single one of those reviews down below. So if you want more drawn out details at the time I was wearing the hair, because the Leah in that review knows the hair intimately. She's wearing the hair at that time. She knows every single detail about that hair. This Leah is trying to think back to 2017 and I can barely think back to what I had Wednesday for breakfast. So watch the individual reviews if you want even more context, but I'm trying to fit a lot. Now there are some hair I have long form videos on that you guys know either I don't associate with the brand anymore or that hair is discontinued. They won't make this list. So you might be looking down below seeing some reviews and noticing that they're not making this list i still get comments from people talking about the bobby boss now wave hair that it has been discontinued for almost five years now that i've talked about in previous videos i have no control over if i'm making this video this year and then two weeks later they want to discontinue the free trust joyful curl and i'm like oops um yeah, I'm talking about Free Trust Joyful Curl and it's no longer existing. Some hair have been removed from this list and some hair may in the future, if you're finding this video in 2025, uh, no longer exist. And then final disclaimer, as I touched this hair, I said it's the Free Trust Joyful Curl. That is what this hair is. Is it going to make this list? Absolutely not. It has been one week. I just in the same day filmed my one week thoughts on this hair so I don't have a full feelings towards it. You guys already have probably seen my install video. If not, I'll link that up above. My review video won't come out because now me doesn't know how I feel about it. But if you stay subscribed to my channel, you'll see my review on this free tress joyful curl. So without further ado, let's just jump right into today's rankings. And as per usual, I'll start with the worst. I have many pages. Now, it used to be just one or two pages. Now, I think it's a page for every year. Let's get started with the last hair on this list. And that is the Outre Dominican Blowout Straight Hair. It's been probably five years since I tried that hair. And I still know I hated that hair with a passion. I still know the intensity that I felt back in 2017, 2018, this trying that hair that I feel today. I'm not a straight hair person. And this is the only straight hair that makes this list. I know sometimes you guys ask me, try more straight hair on this channel. I have it versions just because I just don't feel like straight hair is where it's at with crochet. 
synthetic hair does great to me in curly stages, does okay in waves. It just does not do well in straight, in my opinion. If I'm going to go straight, I might as well just get a sew-in or human hair or do something. It just it feels itchy. It's irritating. It can balloon out of control. You're going to have to brush and brush and brush and brush. I'm just not a fan of it. Next, Zuri Congo Curl, another hair I wore for such a short time. Three days. Three days it is an all-time low for me. And I used one pack. It was part of that one pack is enough from the Zuri line and you know one pack was enough so true to date on that but was one pack enough to seal the deal make me fall in love absolutely not that hair was super warm it was super hard it felt very bristly it just was not my favorite hair and if you're somebody who is watching this in july as i'm posting this you can imagine how that hair would feel in a july you would need to get that hair out immediately the next hair model model dominican braid hair i used six packs of that hair got it at a local beauty supply store i was able to wear it for four weeks i had it in the colors one and one b the original length was super long but i cut it hated it tangled so much it matted so much would have taken it out much sooner but i was in a car accident at that time and so i had to continue wearing it i wouldn't say that hair is water or active wear approved in the least bit the next hair i'm going to call out is the janet collection perm peruvian hair I don't see a lot of people talk about Janet Collection's crochet hair. It's probably for a good reason. That hair was too silky. Whereas this is more natural. It's part of their natural volume line at Free Trust. That was the complete opposite. It's too silky, which some people would get enthralled by because they were like, oh, this is going to feel like human hair. This is so soft. It's so soft. It was too soft to the detriment of that hair, in my opinion. So would not be giving Janet Collection another try. Again, you don't hear a lot about Janet Collection outside of like their Jamaican bounce hair. That hair is very popular. The Janet Collection Perm Peruvian your yeah, collection can keep that. They can keep that. Free chest, cozy deep. Oh my God, such a beautiful hair. So I wanted that to work so, so bad. But again, I think it goes back to the model, model Dominican braid. It was the same issues with the tangled, a lot of maintenance. And if you follow me, I should have led in my disclaimers about this. If you follow me, you know I'm a low maintenance kind of gal. I don't like to do a lot of work. And you, some of you guys say, I don't mind doing a lot of work. I can put work into a hair. I, I got the time. I got the capacity a bit. And I think if you do have the time, the capacity, everything to pour into a hair, that free stress cozy deep is going to be beautiful. And that goes for the next two hair that are making this list. I'll talk about each individually because they rank at the same level. That Trendy Tresses River Curl, that hair, again, very beautiful. I think Trendy Tresses has some very beautiful hair. That hair, tangle, matte, cute, tangles, mats. And the same thing for the goddess curl. That hair was a pain to install. Tangly mess. And the same thing goes to when I was actually wearing it. Tangly mess in my head. Was able to wear both for two weeks. So the goddess curls for two weeks, the river curls. Trendy Tresses and me have a two-week shelf life before it's a wrap up. And I get so sucked into their promotions on like IG. Like when I see someone installing it on IG or I don't think I've seen a TikTok of it, but I see short form videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. And I look through to see what hair they were trying and it's Trendy Tresses. And I'm like, yeah, because it's beautiful. It is always beautiful. I'll give it that. Their hair is beautiful. It just don't be working out for me. The Rasta Free hair. I'm going to wimp all these in on my list. I'm having them all together. It's the Rasta Free Tropical Curl, the Island Crip, and Jamaican Curl hair. Those three hair types, very cute. I love Rasta Free. I love Rasta Free's color selection. That is the one thing I, chef's kiss to whoever is in that lab, cooking up the colors for Rasta Free because they have such a great selection, whereas other brands might have like four or five colors. They'll have 20 to 23. It might be like overkill it might be too many colors but love the color of the roster free hair next hair is the outre bahamas curl so it was a time when that was like one of the most gorgeous hair on this platform i remember the key is me had made a video on it looks stunning in it i think even on me i mean i don't want to toot my own horn but suity toot toot was cute on me but I think goes back to that model, model Dominican braid. You're going to have a hair that frizzes a lot, mats, and it's incredibly, incredibly soft. I think some of you guys get so caught up in wanting a super soft hair that you're not realizing sometimes. I'm, I'm saying you're not 
because I get so many comments on, can you uh, have the softest hair? Or can you make a video on the softest hair? And I'm like, if I do, I promise you most of them will be at the bottom of my list in terms of liking the hair. When it's so soft, it's incredibly soft. It has the greater ability to rub against fabrics and just frizz up and tangle up. Crochet hair is great when it has a little bit of thump to it, a little bit of thickness, a little bit like this hair right now, not the, I say most rigid, but not the softest, but I it's held up. I film my one we thought, spoiler alert, I'm loving it because it's been no maintenance. And the next hair is the Free Tress Aruba Curl Hair. Again, we're going to have the softness issue again. I thought that it was softer than the Deep Twist, which at the time I enjoyed the Deep Twist. At the time I made my Aruba Curl video, I really, really enjoyed the Deep Twist. I thought it was like a great feeling. And then I got the Aruba. Well, if you compare those side by side, it looked very similar. But I think the difference to me was the feeling of it. There is an element of something being too soft and it being a negative. And, and I think for that, it, it definitely was. The next hair has to be that Dalva Whipple Wave hair. Dalva, that was last, what, what, last year, last November, was my birthday hair. For the first time in my channel life, I chose a, the worst hair I could have for my birthday hair. I typically pride myself on, I go into these situations not knowing how it's going to turn out, and somehow it turns out really well. Well, well another hair makes this list, but I'll, I'll tell you why that hair isn't the greatest but I like it but this past birthday I went to the Dominican Republic and I swam you guys saw I was in that pool swimming like Ariel and that hair prides itself on being just like human hair meaning it's like a little bit more expensive than synthetic. It was like $12.99, maybe like $14.99 a pack. I can't remember the exact price, but a little bit more. But it has the abilities to be curled, straightened, blow dry. Like it, it claims to be able to do all those things, which I've tried a Dalva hair in the past. That was pretty all right. It was that Dalva, I believe, deep twist hair. But that hair wasn't bad. Um, this hair was, though. So I think if you're going to go for Dalva and you're going to go for that just like human hair, go with the, I can't remember the name. I'm inserting it right now. But Dalva Whip a Rave was oh a mess whereas that other doll hair i did strain it i did curl it i was able to do a lot with that hair and I, I i think if you want an alternative to human hair that at the time was the only thing that was affordable more affordable and had some of the property all the hair except for maybe one that i'm talking about on today's list is synthetic as you know Synthetic is kind of the way of crochet hair. That's just how it is. If you are experienced crochet wear, you know synthetic is how it is. If you're newer, hi, welcome. Synthetic is usually more abundantly available than human. I think we're getting and starting to get into hair that I feel middle of the road. I think we've passed the hair that I'm like, I cannot recommend to you. Now we're getting to hair that it's an up to you type of a decision. Even to me, if it was medium maintenance or higher maintenance to you, it could be a different experience. I tend to wear my hair a bit longer than most people wear their crochet hair. Some of the hair, if you wear it shorter, might have a different approach to it. And, and that's how I feel about Ross Free Pond Curl. I think it's a cute, cute, cute hair. I liked it. I think there's other roster free hair that are higher on my list of hair that I love. But again, hair I like. And the same thing goes for those Darling Flexi Rod. A lot of people go up for it because it's able to be found. I, mean, I bought mine in Walmart. I walked in Walmart and got the hair. I've seen Darling in Target nowadays, but I've seen the braiding hair in Target. Those Flexi Rods, I doubled them. So it might look longer than you can actually buy it in stores. I did an experiment where I kind of lengthened it. If you saw the install video, you know what I'm trying to say, but I expanded the length. I expanded the length of that hair and it was warm though. It was warm. I decided to, again, why do I pick these warmest hair? I should just be wearing my hair out in the summer. That's that's probably what I should do. I, I should realize I'm in North Carolina. It's going to be sweating. I'm going to be hot. I should be doing these things, but I, I do it anyway. Moving on to the Harlem 125 Ripple Deep Hair. I wore that two times. I did a repeat of it because the first time I didn't enjoy it at all. I was like, no, no, I don't know why everybody talk about this hair so much. The second time I tried it, I liked it a bit more. Again, it's not my top 10, but I did enjoy that hair more the second time because you guys gave me so many good tips. I take feedback constructive criticism all the time so you guys told me do not put a drop of mousse in that hair 
and I didn't and I enjoyed it more the second time. So the next hair is the hair that I was talking about earlier when I said I made a, a birthday hair fupa this past year and then I made another birthday hair fupa with this hair. It was the Bobby Boss Go Go Curl Hair. Now the reason why I say it wasn't as bad of a fupa as the Ripple Wave hair, it was because the pictures was fire. One thing and one thing I know for sure is that hair look good. Anytime any brand steals my photo, if you find me on Amazon, you like, okay, Leah, I see you on Amazon. They stole my picture, y'all. They stole it. Amazon steals pictures all the time. But you know the picture they always steal is me and that go-go curl hair by Bobby Walls. And I'm like, I, I gotta admit, it was a good hair. I made a good hair selection for the photos. Maybe not for, like, real life. It was very much so giving me some pain points, but I can say this hair might move up higher on my list just because of how bad that hair was. I mean, bad meaning good. Not bad meaning bad, bad meaning good. It was it was bad in the sense that it was higher maintenance. It was also bad in the you bad sense as well. A hair that has moved down on my list quite a bit was the hair that started this channel. I would not have a channel. Mm. I can't say I wouldn't have a channel without this. I wouldn't have a channel without Free Chest Bohemian Braid. But the first video on my channel was me in the Free Chest Deep Twist hair. That was the first hair I ever tried and I fell in love with crochet. And I was like, oh my God, I have to, I have to continue telling the streets about this thing called crochet hair. And I loved it. But so many comments in over the years, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020... 2021 people were saying yeah i think the quality is going down here you might need to give that a rego and so i i redid it i redid it in 2022 did a whole swim test in it it didn't hold up the way i nostalgically remembered in 2016 again i i have such strong feelings for it because i would not have a channel but i do think the quality has changed i can't imagine that they are doing the same thing over and over again in the factory for the last five years i'm sure they switched some things up and i'm not loving what they did to switch it up preacher's deep twist is sad and that has been lowered on my list but things have to happen and it's lowered up under uh hair that again going back to if we're going for looks these are gonna be your killers and we got the authentic ocean wave of course the chemo ocean wave and then the roster free late wave hair three waves i went through a phase where i was gonna make a wave work and i realized i don't know if i'm the wave girl i don't think i'm the wave girl at all because they all uh, I'm gonna tell you one thing. Them hair is exactly the same. You're gonna get the same thing from each of those hairs. So it don't matter if you go with the Ocean Wave by Kima, the Lake Wave by Roster Free, or the Ocean Wave by Authentic. Same, same thing. Uh, maybe, you know, different colors, but same thing. And you're gonna need to put some maintenance in. Now, if you don't mind, again, putting that maintenance in, go for it. If you do mind, maybe wear it a bit shorter. I kept wanting to wear it with long and do the long. You guys know I'm a long person. It might be meant to wear it shorter and it might have a better experience, but for me, it's too much maintenance. I want to get up and go. I don't want to be brushing. I don't want to be dangling. I want to go and I want my hair to look good as I'm going. The next hair is the only human hair that is making this list. This is the Shake and Go human hair. It is from their naked line of hair. You would think that human hair would be my favorite, but it's not. It's just not... It just doesn't make sense in crochet form for me. It was harder to install, so it's not as DIY friendly. I adored the human hair that i had last year you guys remember i went to a stylist who professionally crocheted in bundles of hair if you have any questions i will link that video up above of going there i have a review i have styling videos that's not going to make this list because that is not traditionally crochet hair it is again bundles of hair that she used the crochet method to install so that if you remember that video if you're a follower of mine and you're like why isn't that human hair making the list it's because that is not i can walk into a store and buy this off the shelf in a pack you have to kind of go to a stylist who knows that technique so it was again dealing with human hair so getting it wet outside dealing with humidity outside i could barely hold a curl as it, the dalva hair actually held a curl better than this hair held 
to curl. So to me, it kind of looks thin too. I like a little bit more va va voom That hair, you probably could get a thick look, but you're going to be paying about $400. Again, that hair was $39 a pack starting at the lowest length, which was 10 inches. Of course, you want to go up a little longer. And with that, it would be $59 a pack at this longest length, which I think is that 18 inches. And that's just one pack. You're probably going to need five packs. You do the math. You're going to spend in a pretty coin. The next hair are tied because I don't, I don't know how to feel about each and every one of these. And this is going to be where I put in the Rock Tress Jamaican Bounce hair. This is going to be where I put the Free Tress Ringlet Wand Curl. This is where I'm going to put the Sensational Jamaican Bounce. And, and more recently, I'm going to put that Toyo Tress Ocean Wave in. I know I'm lumping in a lot of hair in one bucket because I I honestly feel the same way about each and every one of them. None of them have outweighed the other. I'm not a bouncy girl hair. I I realize this this look ain't my look. You know your personal style. You know how you feel your best. You know how you feel like you look your best. For me, I don't think I conveyed it as well back in my old videos, my what I was trying to say or what I was trying to get across with it, that it's not a bad hair. It's not a terrible, terrible hair. I just am not falling in love with the look of those. Now, where it's a little bit different is that Toyo Tress Ocean Wave hair, where I did enjoy the look of that hair. I just put it in the same category because it's the feel of it. The feel of it feels just like those hair. It's a thicker hair, again, a hair I probably wouldn't wear in the summer. All, none of them what I put on my head in the summer because it's going to be warm. I wanted to love the ocean wave so bad. The Toyo Tress ocean wave because so many people were like, well, put it in the ocean wave category, like the Kima ocean wave. It's not at all like any of the prior ocean waves. Look at me in either of the waves. The Toyo Tress ocean wave was not a wave in the way that the other hair were waves. So I put it more in this category because it's a more curl type of a format. So again, wish I could have loved it. Wish I could have loved it. Next is the Rasta Free Ziggy Curl. I wore that on my cruise last year when I went to Miami. I enjoyed it. It held up really well in water. I think a lot of people compared it to the Free Tress Bohemian Braid. Bohemian Braid. No, Free Tress Brazilian Braid. I knew something sounded weird. Brazilian Braid, which until very recently, I saw it in stores two weeks ago. And I had not seen Free Tress Brazilian Braid in a store in my whole entire being a YouTuber career. I thought they discontinued it. And it does look similar to that hair. And I probably would be interested in trying the Free Tress Brazilian Braid as well. If you don't like big hair, you're going to hate that hair. I don't mind big hair, so I enjoyed it. I'm going to put these two, lump them in the same category. Free Tress, Go-Go Curl, and then the hair from Amazon. That was the Go-Go Curl that I tried. I think Go-Go Curl, who they going to Go-Go? They going to Go-Go for you. They're a great curl pattern. They look good. So many of you guys tell me that you love the Go-Go Curl in general. I have a couple hair that, again, I love more and uh, I get along with much better. But I think you know, again, they rank where they do. They were getting closer to the top. We're almost hitting the top 10 at this point. And I'm gonna lead into it with the Boho Locks Majesty Twist hair. I like that hair. I like that hair. I don't know why. It's just like, I can't sit in a chair and get my hair twisted or braided. Like I thought this summer I was gonna do box braids or knotless. And then every time I looked at the time that I would be sitting in a chair, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I'm like, I could crochet in something better than that. And this hair was a bit more expensive. But again, the premise of it is that it can be reused. I'm sure other companies make cheaper, more affordable twists. I'm sure Amazon has it. And I'm sure at some point I'll try them. But for now, that is the twist that I've tried. And I enjoyed it. It wasn't super heavy. Next, we have the Free Trust Water Wave hair. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Not much I can say about that hair. Gonna be active friendly, gonna be water friendly. Not gonna do you wrong at all. Wore it for five weeks. Definitely could have worn it for much, much longer. Going into the Fema Freak Mini Frosty Twist hair. I've been seeing a lot of mini twists on TikTok recently. Everybody's saying it's a mini twist summer. And I'm like, if you want to have the mini twists look this is going to give you that look. I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys, though, saying that they have been out of stock of certain colors for a long time. Like, you guys are commenting on some of my videos and being like, 
they always out of stock or they don't have this. And I hate to hear that. I hate to hear that. I hate when I recommend something and you guys' customer service experience or your buying experience of it is not the same as mine. I, I want everyone to have the same experience. So I used to have another twist on this list right at the same point that I could defer you guys to, but that company went out of business. So we're not going to talk about them. Femme Freak right now is the only mini twist option I have. However, I'm sure I'll try something else in the future and give you guys a second option alternative as well. Rasta free Tahiti curl. You know the vibe with that. You guys know why I love that. It's because I left some hair out. I want to do more leave out and it blend as well as that hair blended. It felt summery. It felt wash and go. It felt like I had a wash and go without having a wash and go. You've seen my hair wash and go and then you see me with that and I'm like okay who who is who who's the real hair who's not the real hair i like anything that can mirror my real hair the next hair is the reason i have my channel it is not the first hair i tried but my best friend was a lover of the free trust bohemian braid and i finally tried it maybe two years into my crochet hair journey and I love it just as well. That Free Trust Bohemian Braid is top-notch, top-quality hair. That hair is tied with the Lulu Trust Island Twist hair. That hair as well is going to be great for your low-maintenance, your water activities, any kind of beach vacation, whatever you have going on. Both of those hair I would recommend. The Free Trust Bohemian Braid and the Lulu Trust Island Twist. Next, we got the Outre Bohemian Braid. To me, if you want the Outre Bahamas Curl look, but you don't want the feel, go with the Bohemian Curl hair. Next, we have Free Trust Presto. Been so long since I've tried that hair. So long. So I'm just going to leave it at that because I don't remember how I truly... That might be a repeat. I might put Free Trust Presto on it because it's so far up that I remember really, really loving it at the time, but i am always been questioning, like... Is it, could it be like just as good as Frost Free Jamaican and I just am remembering it too fondly? We're going to see. Let's put Free Trust Presto down for a retry. Maybe not this year, but next year because it has continuously made this. Listen, I'm side eyeing it sometimes. Nonetheless, moving on up to the Rasta Free Dream Romance Curl. Love that hair. Love that hair, love that hair, love that hair. Low maintenance, beach friendly, active wear approved. All the boxes are checked on that hair. Can't go wrong with that at all. Another hair you can't go wrong with because look at it. How could you? How could you go? It's Amazon Goddess Box Braids. Wore those for swim lessons. Again, I don't want to sit in a chair forever to get box braids. This is a great alternative for that. The next hair, we're going to skip right over. I'm going to talk about it briefly. The Model Model Fresh Bond Curl. I just leave this in this video because I hope Model Model will one day find this video and just make the wand curl again make the fresh wand curl because y'all got a bad rap like i talked about people was dissuading me away from model model for years y'all have some middle of the road hair that i made this list but nothing has made the list like the fresh wand if i could find a dupe for that hair i still get questions on how i found a dupe i have not found a dupe for that hair but trust me if i had it would be on here i thought the ocean wave was gonna be a dupity dupe for a minute it didn't turn out to be a dupity dupe so once i do you guys will know that hair was amazing i won't spend so much time talking about it because like some hair that have fallen off this list it has been discontinued but i bring it up just because you guys know that would be my that would be my hair we're gonna go to the next hair which used to be number one it held the number one spot for so long. If you follow my channel over the last year, you know something has bumped it up. But the number two hair right now is that Harlem 125 Kima Soft Dread Hair. I've always known that's not everybody's favorite hair. It's not their cup of tea. They don't like the way a soft dread looks. They don't get along with it well. I get it. I like the low maintenance of it, the swim friendliness of it, the active wear friendliness of it. I like that hair. I very much so enjoy that hair. I love the fiery red that it gave me. It was a cute hair in my opinion, but I get that the streets uh, sometimes might be like, that's too curly. And then finally, you know what number one is, if you've been paying attention to my channel at all, the Free Trust Beach Curl. Last year, when I made this list, that hair was like number seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. It was, it was kind of, it was kind of lower. It was kind of lower because I enjoyed it, 
but you guys have gone up for it for so long that I've had to retry it this year. So I took it this year to Puerto Rico with me. I did a lot of experimentation. I did a lot of swimming, a lot of getting it through the rigors, pushing it through, and it, it prevailed. It really prevailed. Like you guys were trying to tell me like, no, I enjoyed it. Back when I tried it, I enjoyed it, but I don't know if I enjoyed it as much as some of my other hair. But now having retried it very recently, just what March of this year, I have to say it is my number one here. I, I see why you guys were going up for it. Somebody commented on a video I made on TikTok where I kind of ranked my best swim friendly here. And they were like, stop putting people on beach curl. They're not going to find it in stores. And I was like, I'll be going to stores and I'll be seeing it, y'all. I don't think we're in any kind of danger in it being another model, model, fresh wine curl if they know what's good for them. I would hope that Free Tress would know what's good for them and they do not discontinue this hair. They can discontinue some other hair, but not this hair. Maybe, maybe not this hair either. We'll see. You guys stay tuned to see how I feel about this hair. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll see how the review for this Free Tress Joyful Curl ends up. While at the same time, make sure you have that notification bell on so you're notified when I post new content. You don't want to miss a thing I do over here. Make sure you're following me on my other platforms, Instagram at Lilavon89, where I post some very engaging short form content as well as TikTok, which I'm Lilavon, which is engaging short form content that's a little bit more real time. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I think I'm just a man for you